Hey everybody, it's Eric with District 82 Pinball. Um, I'm showing you this video because I got a couple of lamp sockets left to do and it's kind of hard to see in the video, but like in particular, this one does not light up very good um, at all. And uh, I've already fixed a bunch of these, but you can see like you touch it, it doesn't work. So this is Wheel of Fortune and I'm sure you got a newer Stern game because uh, for like 10, 15 years, they've been putting the row of lights back here in the back of the play field, um, but they, they tend to not work very good. Um, and they go out and come on and go out and come on. And I'm gonna show you uh, how to fix that. Essentially, there's two different kinds of lamp sockets that they use back here. Um, and they just, they're pressed together. Um, so everything makes contact through the middle here. And um, there's a couple different styles. Um, like this one in particular, this, this uh, piece right here that I'm touching is actually attached to the body. Whereas on this one, it's actually not attached, but pressed in making a con making contact. Um, so the one that's in this, this game in particular is this one here, so I don't have to worry about this end, but I do have to worry about uh, the spring right there that goes all the way through and makes contact with the bottom of the lamp. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how I'm fixing that because essentially all the springs back here um, on these things have broken free. And so they're just all friction, essentially they're all friction as well. So I'm gonna solder the bottom of it uh, to, the, uh, to the socket. Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this one right here. Now, in the video, it looks like it's just as bright as the rest of them, but it's not. Um, when you push on it, it turns on and then it'll turn off, you know, as you're moving it around and whatnot. So I'm going to solder the spring uh, to the body, um, and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, before I do anything, I'm gonna I'm gonna sot or I'm gonna wire brush the socket out with this little wire brush thing um, that cleans off the contacts. Do this with the game off, uh, obviously. It cleans out where the uh, lamp makes contact with the socket. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Okay, and now you can see in there how it's nice and shiny. All right, and now your uh, lamp socket will make um, better contact. Okay, so I've already done a bunch of these, but I, um, it's, I, I have not touched this one yet right here. So uh, if you can see it, you can see the spring is still there, um, but it's loose. I mean, if you touch the spring, it's loose, it falls in, it falls out, and then you put the lamp in, and it's supposed to hold tension against the edge, but it does a very poor job, okay? Um, so the way to fix that is you're going to take your little wire brusher, rough up the entire edge so the solder has something to stick to. Okay, I also stick the lamp in and then do the bottom of the spring again. Okay, now I'm gonna take some solder. I'm gonna put some solder on the end of the spring so it sticks. Put it on the edge of the lamp socket so that sticks. Then I'm gonna take another screwdriver, okay, and push the spring in while it's hot. All right, holding tension on this thing the whole time while it cools off, okay? And then once it's cooled off, it'll stay. All right, and now it's in there nice and nice and tight. Okay, now turn the game on. And it's nice and on the whole time. It was this one. So now I push on it, nothing turns on, turns off, etc. It's good to go. You can actually still change it because um, you, you've only just tightened it down, but it, it makes good contact now. And, uh, and once you do all of them, then all your lamps will stay on and won't be turning on, off, on, off all the time.